St. Paul Public Schools are moving forward with a record-breaking budget that for the first time exceeds $1 billion. The superintendent says, in fact, that is a first not just for St. Paul, but for any district in Minnesota. Kaya Edwards looked into how this is possible. Kaya? Julie, the budget is for the 2024 fiscal year, and the superintendent says there are a few reasons it exceeds a billion dollars, including increased state aid and remaining federal COVID funds. St. Paul Public Schools Board of Education has approved the district's more than $1 billion budget. To know that we're investing that in children in St. Paul, it's a wonderful feeling. Superintendent Joe Gothard says it's due in part to the Minnesota legislature last month passing that sweeping education bill that increases state aid to schools by 4% next year, 2% the year after that. The bill also allocates millions of dollars to special education services and hiring more support staff. To know that those three areas were addressed uh, with an increase in the per pupil formula as well. Um, I can't say thank you enough. The state aid is tied to student enrollment and Gothard says numbers are holding steady with increased enrollment this past spring compared to last fall. I don't know in my six years here if we've been able to say that. Another reason the budget's so big, remaining federal COVID relief funds, which must be spent by December 2024. Our federal funds, the, the last installment, the American Rescue Plan, or ESSER 3, came at a time in 2021 where I was told SPPS was to receive $207 million. And that came at a time where we had no idea what our future is going to look like. We were still in the throes of the, the pandemic. Never did I think we'd be able to invest this to help jumpstart our strategic directions and our strategic plan. That plan has involved hiring 70 teachers using a reading curriculum called WIN from the University of Florida. To have students who are shy or embarrassed or pushed away or not engaged in their learning uh, be able to confidently show up day in, day out, know that they're improving. It has been you know, one of the greatest strategies that I think we've uh, led here in St. Paul Public Schools. So pretty good shape now, but with those COVID funds set to expire by the end of next year, it begs the question, what would the following year's budget look like? Gothard says they will come up with a prioritization process, looking at investments making the biggest difference in kids' lives, and then deciding what can continue to be funded and what needs to go. Julie? Yeah, always hard choices. Thank you, Kaya. Well, just last week, the Minneapolis Public School Board approved a $755 million operating budget as that district is facing a $42 million deficit and could very well run out of money by the 2024-2025 school year. The district blames severely declining enrollment and COVID federal money that is set to run out next fall. That could lead to schools closing and staff layoffs in the future. After 